think so buddy you're not eating anybody in this family okay you're a welcome member of the family we're gonna feed you pine has just fed you but i expect you to keep that tongue inside of that beautiful bovine mouth of yours hello everyone and welcome back to the sims 4 cow plant challenge imagine that where we've got so many cow plants frolicking about on our farm well we have one cow plant but he's got a little brother now i am so excited and i am so proud because our exhausted stinky fern who is walking everywhere just hold still hold still fern she is walking all over the house with this plate of pancakes and she should just be standing still come on fern just eat those pancakes. Don't you give me those eyes. Do you see those eyes? Do you see the eyes I'm getting from the sim? Oh, that's just ridiculous. But Fern has proven herself to be a true heiress to the family farm since she went fishing all day, skipping school behind her parents' back. And uh, she actually managed to fish up another seed, which I'm very excited about, for the cow plants. So I'm actually going to have Pine come over here and water it because he wants to take care of some of the plants, like weeding them. He wants to chat with somebody. I have no idea where he's going now. So you do you pine i think that he's actually still working on his freelance botanist skill as well oh look and somebody has woken up and look how excited she is that we actually have the cow plant here on the farm hopefully allison allison cowberry will be able to take good care of the cow plants who back when she was um still alive were actually the cause of her demise but i think allison must just be thrilled to see her beloved cow plants even though they did end up eating her and killing her which was a bit of a bummer and seeing her beloved farm come back to life i mean look at that our trees are literally sparkling i love this we only have six sim days left after this friday ends though to manage to make this challenge like work and pine don't you dare go cry and mourn allison she's playing with the cow plant she's fine don't worry about it buddy uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and have him work on evolving plants, since if he evolves five different plants, he will actually come up to the next level of the freelance botanist skill. But the adventure is almost over, guys. We are really getting to the point now where we're kind of in our final moments when it comes with the cow plant challenge. And that means the end of this long summer vacation is going to be closing for our young sim kids. They are already going back to school, but we're saying that but Fern is off to school to try to study up and take remedial classes and try to study for college because she wants to become a veterinarian. And we're going to actually be carrying on after the cow plant challenge with Fern and her vet adventures in Brindleton Bay. And then we're saying that little, <laughs> oh my gosh, Amber. We're saying that little Amber here actually wants to end up in a very special school where she is going to study uh, science and human physiology and try to answer the questions of life and death after meeting a family ghost. And also, it appears that we're having emotional crisis with Fern, who has gone and cornered her mother upstairs. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up, and all my friends seem to have figured it out. How do I figure it out myself? Oh, boy. Okay, so she cornered her mother of all people. So Devin's a little bit more strict than Pine. And they're already having her go to classes to study for college. So uh, let's see. How do I figure out? myself. Pick something you like will give us emotional control. No worries, you've got time will affect empathy. Um, I think that Devin would say you pick a path and you put your mind to it. So she definitely wouldn't say no worries, you've got time because Fern is actually, you know, failing high school. <laughs> And needs to kind of start picking up the pace if she wants to be able to go and become a vet. So pick something you like and stick to it. So her conflict resolution has decreased and her emotional control has increased. Yay! Wonderful! Congratulations! Look at that sharp increase of emotional control. This is so cute. 
So it looks like Fern cornered her mom, Devin, who's ready to do like some last minute. I, I think I'm going to have Devin go down and if she has the berries for it, go do some jam making. Uh, but that's adorable. Okay, Fern, where are you? You need to just go ahead and go to bed, lady. So Fern is off to bed. I'm still so proud of her. Our heiress to the farm. I hope we can keep the family farm. If we don't complete the challenge within the six days, uh, starting Saturday, so like six days starting from Saturday, then what we have to do is we actually have to buy the farm back from the council. We can't just have Fern move back in when she's old enough <laughs> and when she's done with her vet training in Brindleton Bay. We would actually have to pay Pony Up for all of the lots worth, which is almost 200,000 Simolonian. So Fern would have to work her fingers off running a successful vet uh, clinic to save the family farm a second time. So I'm really hoping we will magically have some of our cow plant seeds ready. I am staring at these. Oh my gosh, is it just me? We just had a patch update, but I feel like the patch update has made night like pitch black it's really hard to see out here now um but yeah let me put, let me put some lights out here i we literally just had a patch update i haven't even had a chance to like think about doing anything like a little spotlight of the patch update just yet oh that's so cool little trony candles we have some wood slice candles I wonder if I can just hide some of these candles. Now this lighthouse lantern's really beautiful. Does that one work? And this is from uh, Jewelster. Uh, I would probably put out like this color. Will this give me some light? Let there be light. Not really. <laughs> Dang it, it's really hard to see sometimes in this game. Oh, what about the Simply Floored sequel? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see those baby dragon fruit down there. Yeah, I don't know exactly what changed, but we did just have an update uh, a moment ago. Oh, now I have a little stuck light. That's fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we just had an update like 20 minutes ago to The Sims 4 and it looks like it made night a lot darker. So bear with me guys until we figure out what we want to do. But we do have a spliced fruit. We have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting all summer for this dragon fruit that is spliced with snapdragon to yield up some of the cowberry berries that it can grow. And we have started splicing some of the other plants and crossing our fingers, really, really hoping that we'll be able to get some results from these. But this is just ridiculous. I, I wish there was a way to splice like all of these onto an onion and we could just churn out the onion stuff. But I don't think you can do that. So we'll experiment with that, but not when, like, we only have a few very careful plants I need to be very cautious with. Uh, all right, so let's see. Fern's asleep now. Good job, Fern, getting the second cowberry. Her mother is awake on the toilet reading a book called Sparks Are Nature's Kisses. And she's tense because the book is too high level for her because she doesn't have very much handiness skill. Well, that is a very unique situation to have found ourselves in. And meanwhile, Amber is standing out in the hallway feeling super embarrassed. Uh, she's also pretty confident because she just completed her homework, but she is not performing as well as she needs to be in school. She's a D student right now. So let's actually have her come over to her mom and we're going to ask her mom for reassurance that she's not a bad student. I think she was lurking outside the bathroom the whole time because she really wants to make sure that, Allison, you're not supposed to show yourself to the adults. She really wants to make sure that she's not a bad student, that she's doing well in school. Um, let's see. I'm going to have Allison come over here and take care of the plants for a while. So let's go ahead and have Amber chit chat with her mom for a minute. Allison, float yourself back outside. When night falls, then you're supposed to be outside tending to tending to all the plants out there. And then Devin, did you did you help your daughter at all? Or did you just like really don't take your mood out on your oh my gosh she did look all of the embarrassed moodlets went away. So let's try telling the mom an unbelievable story just to see or maybe discuss stressed mood so I think we'll do that and just see if that helps because Amber just got help from her mom so maybe she would be like mom you're not stressed because of my work because you know how kids are so sensitive when it comes to when parents are tense oh she got so much empathy you need to get a different look on your face Devin that was a little bit, that was a little bit much. I think Pine is going to come over. Don't talk to the ghost, Pine. And I, we're going to have Pine go ahead and give his daughter a hug. Uh, like, 
ask about day, maybe discuss world peace. Where's just like, oh, here, brighten her day. Because I feel like he doesn't want her to worry. Help fix bad relationships. Not with strange men. No. Uh, he doesn't want Amber to worry that like his mom, her mom was taking it out on her or like was upset because she's not doing well in the special test that she's going. Yeah, then we'll do hug lovingly. There we go. And then let's try parenting, put to bed, encourage recent behavior. Oh, let's encourage talking about negative emotions. So he's like, I know that that was a little bit stressful, but your mother really didn't mean to like project onto you, etc., etc. That is so cool. Yay, and her empathy goes up when you do those things. Are you kidding me? And then, Allison, go back outside. Uh, satisfying, help with needs, satisfying chat, give a second wind, make a fun face. Um, let's see. I've never played with these because I'm still so new to the parenting pack. So this just tickles me to, like, death. This is so cute. Teach to say please and thank you. Force to uh, maybe help with needs. Let's have a satisfying chat. And then we might even round this out as a very intellectual chat all around by going ahead and teaching her to say sorry as a way of being like, yes, when you're having difficult time and difficult emotions, you should always discuss it with an adult. And let's do this. I'm going to have her go ahead and go to the restroom because apparently she's decided she's a ghost with a bladder. And I'm going to check in on all of the plants. I'm kicking Allison outside so that she'll focus on... I might have her start planting things if she's going to start getting in my way. There we go. And then somebody is embarrassed that she lost her mood to her daughter. You should be, woman. You should be. Uh, and I do want to actually have... Devin, go ahead and start working on selling some of the the produce that she has pulled out from the garden and also making some pickles and making some jam with the awesome jam mod so that we can turn all of the, the dragon fruit or a whole bunch of the other things into really useful products that we can then sell or even stick down into the basement. Because if you guys remember, we have this cool basement, which is also darker than usual now. What is this? Let's turn on this room. But we have this cool basement with these shelves to put a whole bunch of the canned goods that Devin creates. Also, 99? More than 99 roses? We have $700 worth of roses? That is so cool. Uh, I kind of am tempted to keep some of them and like keep planting them. But let's just go ahead and sell all those roses. And we'll say we sold them to a local flower store. In fact, let's go ahead and get like a little vase of roses to represent the fact that we had so many roses. <laughs> Where are all my cabinets? Where are all my lo like what happened here? Where are my countertops? Jeez Louise! A lady updates her game and the next thing you know all of her counters disappear. Well, excuse you. That's quite rude. I'm pretty sure it was like these nice counters too. Well then, if you don't mind. What do you mean script call fell? Oh no! They've broken custom countertops. Oh, oh, what a devastating day indeed. Oh, well, maybe these ones will fit in. Now, now th that's so sad. That's so sad. All of the beautiful customized countertops that we have will no longer work. But thankfully, these Brohill wooden counters, those will do. Those will do. All right, let's stick them on in. One, and then we need to move the little trash can. And then, let's see, which color do we want? Oh, this is actually kind of a nice color. I just love the wooden countertops, honestly. So, uh, is there one with wooden countertops? What a, what a devastating blow. A devastating, unexpected blow to all of our plans and plotting. Um, That's like weird tile. Uh, yeah, script call failed. So do we not, do we need to have like the script mod enabled? Let's check. This is why my friends, when there is a game update, you have to be really careful. Yeah, script mods are allowed. So that means that it's broken. <laughs> this is also why you should be quite cautious with your use and addiction to custom content, my friends. Because the day it breaks is the day that your heart will crack just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right. All right, this is kind of tricky. I don't really know which one, because I'm just like, it's a wood countertop. A wood countertop needs to go in here, and I no longer have wood countertops that can go in here. Oh, I guess these weren't wood in the first place. Okay, I'll get over it. I'll get over it. These are very beautiful counters, actually. I never really noticed before. All right, so let's see what color would match best in here. Maybe with Devin's sense of flair for the kitchen. 
Uh, she does like the kind of minimalistic look that you can match almost anything with. But maybe something a little different. You would almost like blend that in a little bit too much. We don't want like camouflaged countertops. Um, and the blue ones are interesting. Like the blue ones kind of catch my eye a little bit. I wonder, can we change the wall? It, where's this wall? Can we like change it to blue as well? <gasps> hey now, I wonder if we should change the room to blue. That might be nice. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I'm gonna change the room to blue and maybe change these countertops to like this bright color here. I like where this is going. Can I change this to, oh, I can change this to a blue tone too. What about, can I do maybe this one? Oh, wow, I can even upgrade like the canning area. Hey now, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Um, huh. Well, I think I need to do like this color. Let's see, sorry, I did not expect to get distracted by countertops. <laughs> this is the kind of unexpected stuff that just happens when you're trying to raise a family on a beautiful family farm, you know what I mean? All right, and then let's go ahead and add in uh, some more countertops. Can I scooch this over? That's gonna stay right there. The answer to that question is no, but I wonder if I can actually move because I think all of these countertops have been like thrown off for a while now. But what if I can actually move like the fridge over here? Is that too weird to have like the fridge? I think that's too weird. All right, what if I move this thing? Oh no, <laughs> what have I done to the kitchen? This is, oh, it's a travesty. Oh, what have I, oh, who knows, who knows? Here, next to the kid, there we go. All right, I have made a huge mess in the kitchen. There's even programming books on the floor for who knows what reasons. But maybe I can put down, come on, come on. What do you mean can't intersect other objects? Well then how are you supposed to have corners? <laughs> Why won't the countertops and the corners play nicely together? Eh? What do you mean? Okay guys, clearly I shouldn't be in the kitchen. I'm not fit to take care of this kitchen. I think it's because this kitchen is at a very awkward angle. Um, very, very much so. It's kind of at a really odd diagonal. So I feel like we end up with some really weird issues with it as a result. So I'm gonna go ahead, blue objects on. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of slide this right here, slide this right there, and we'll worry about the rest later. But dang it, so all of those, <laughs> all of those really cool bits and pieces that we were going to get from, um, oh wait, are there, yay! My counters that don't work anymore. At least we can sell them for cold hard cash, which is just fine by me. Oh my goodness, can I just sell all of these? I guess you have to select them individually. Phew, and here I was so worried, there we go. I was so worried that we just lost like a ton of money. So that makes me feel very happy actually. All right, and apparently my dishwasher is broken too. Well my, oh thank goodness, no it wasn't broken. Okay, hang on. <laughs> this, like I said, it's the trial and error of having put modded stuff into your game. Just expect a few hiccups now and then, like all of the surfaces being broken. And this is why you should try to go custom content light if you can. Yeah, all right. Well, we were just trying, literally just trying to get like a, a rose. Just like, I just wanted a nice little rose inside of a little vase. That's all I was thinking about. Just so we could show that we got it. Here's like a little single rose. Here's another single rose. We'll get this little single rose. And all I wanted was a little single rose kind of in the middle of the table to represent the the roses, that the fresh roses we just brought in. So phew, man, taking care of this farm is pretty hard. Let's get a move on. And then with Allison, I'm actually going to scoot all of the lemons. I'm gonna scoot the strawberries. I'm going to move all of these berries. Holy cow berries, what the heck? <laughs> So this is our blackberry harvest that we pulled from the front yard. Individually, these are 16 a piece. Together, they're like 2,000 a piece? What? That's amazing. Allison, what? Okay, there we go. We'll drag these 
and then the pears, which we might want to plant. So basically all of the, um, I mean, Allison's a ghost, so it's not like she can carry some of these around. We might have her replant some of the things, but I want Devin to be working on the canning skill. And I feel like canning is kind of relaxing for Devin. Like there's something very methodical, something very logical about being able to chop up all of the fruits and vegetables, make some of the new canned goods, be able to work. Why is the baby awake? Okay. Is he very hungry? Okay. So he is very hungry. He should be fed. I'm going to let him eat one of his mini, mini, mini apples that he has inside of his inventory for a minute. And then I think I'm going to have... Oh, good. We've almost taught her how to say sorry. Okay. So I'm going to leave these two alone. Allison's broken the toilet. What is with this family? <laughs> not even two minutes. Not even two minutes of peace to be able to put everything together. No, Devin, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. All right. Fine. It's midnight, Devin. Maybe you do deserve to go to bed instead. I'm going to have her put away this book. And then I'm going to have her give food to baby Aspen. And I'm going to have her give him animal crackers. No, she wouldn't give animal crackers. I'm going to have her give food. Mm, not chicken nuggets, not cheese crackers. We'll do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich made out of a very wholesome whole wheat and the the all natural fresh ground peanut butter and the jam she made herself. That's what we'll do. Also, Allison, why are you sad now? Oh, because she has the gloomy trait and she really wants to buy a pool light <laughs> and fertilize a plant. Get out in the city. You're a ghost, Allison. Just like Willow in our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series is a tree and cannot go to China. You, my friend, are a ghost and you cannot go into the big city right now. All right. So I think over here, we're very inspired, inspired to apologize. Knowing the power of apologizing can inspire one to make mistakes whenever they like. What? That's not what you were supposed to get from that, you too intelligent child. <laughs> All right. I'm going to send her in to take a shower. I'm going to get Allison out of her bed because Allison should not be sleeping in her bed. Gosh, I'm sorry this, like, today is just such an utter mess, guys. <laughs> Trying to run from place to place and kind of tidy things up is a little bit more distracting than I expected. Uh, Pine, I guess since Devin already took the baby, um, Pine, why don't you go ahead and put into inventory this piece, and then you go to bed too. Phew! Trying to keep track of everybody. <laughs> there you go, Devin. All right, Devin, feed the baby. And then while Devin's doing that, I'm going to have her look at drawing and maybe write a note. I feel like she would write a note to Amber because she'd feel badly for having snapped at Amber a little bit. And then also I feel like she would look at the floor and decide that they need a nice rug. Devin just has this urge in my head to like constantly be buying random things to spruce up the farm. Like the woven wonder. Come on, there's so many beautiful new rugs that came with The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs that are perfect for a family farm. And there's also a few like this one. Very nice. This actually is the one I would say I would put in a kitchen because it looks like it can be really easily cleaned. You know what I mean? And I think we'll do like a blue version and then maybe we can do like a smaller tan version uh, and kind of like overlap them a little bit. Maybe that's overkill in a kitchen though. I don't know. It looks like a Devony thing. That strikes me as a Devony thing. <laughs> this, 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 this is what Devon would do. What would Devon do? This is the answer. She would have weirdly angled... Well, I guess I wonder if you could even just like layer them on top of each other like so, but she's very, she's very like rich hipster vibes. So let me go ahead. No, not the whole house. I don't need to organize the whole house. There we go. And we'll cover up a little bit of the floor with a couple very nice, seemingly randomly placed, but very strategically located rugs. In fact, I wonder if we should just move them more over here. Let's see. Mm, I liked him back in the other spot better. And maybe we won't like that, but right now Devin's sleep deprived brain likes that. So maybe we should put him like one more rug for the rule of threes, perhaps? No, that would be a little weird. And actually having some rugs next to the jam is a little weird. Darn it! I was so happy with it and now I'm like, never mind. Uh here, we'll put him we'll put him Whoa, too big, too big, too big. We'll put like one of them over in this corner and think about redoing that section and then maybe we'll leave one over here and maybe that will finally 
that will finally calm me down. The rugs just, the room just looks so empty. You know what I mean? And putting the rugs down seems to help. Okay, Siri, you gotta move on, lady. You're just, you're focusing way too much on these things tonight. I'm just so distracted by it. Now I like want to get them a bigger table. It's because we finally have money. And I'm so happy that they have a little bit of money we can start spending so that we can make this place look super nice. And we can give them really nice tables just to eat at. And they can have the cutest... Ah, it's so cute. They could have the cutest little house here. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we're doomed. All right. Well, that, guess what? Devin's decided because we managed to... There we go. We'll sell all of those. Not worth... A, whoa, we sold the whole kitchen. Devin, please ease it up a little bit, lady. Okay, there we go. And then maybe we'll move the perfect curved table in here. There. And we'll scooch this in here. We don't even have to have it up against the wall either. Uh, I don't think so. Well, well, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Would it be more refreshing to pull it back from the wall a little bit? I think people like looking out the window. Hmm. But then I think we could put like an extra chair at the back and then people could just like, well, people will have trouble slipping in if they want to go all the way back there. Ugh, why wouldn't it let me? <laughs> just, just go down there. Oh, fine. It just wants to be either right here or right here. This is the travesty of having a house at a diagonal. <laughs> there, fine. Stay there. See if I care. I care. Oh, jeez. All right, guys, clearly I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm sorry. It just gets so distracting. And one of these days, what we might do is just have some fun live streams where we might just remodel what we can within the limitations of the family funds. We'll just have to sell lots and lots and lots of really cool roses because that was really fun. And uh, that doesn't quite match the way I was hoping. What about this one? Ah, it's so cute. Matching. Matching. I love it. There we go. And then can I, I can even put one over there. I don't think a sim can like wiggle behind the others to get over there. But you know what? Devin's tired. Devin's spending some money. Where'd the baby go? Devin's sitting on the baby. That's not how you put Aspen in the... Oh, gosh. All right. Well, Pine's going to be in for a surprise when he wakes up in the morning. That's for sure. We've got a whole new kitchen caboodle going on over here. But all right. Phew, sorry this was such a silly episode, guys. I was just all over the place. We redid the kitchen. Uh, basically, we learned that Amber was having a pretty hard time. She's feeling like a genius right now. Having a really hard time feeling insecure about her homework and about what she's doing. And then Fern's not really sure what she wants to do, but her parents are really telling her where even if she's not sure if her heart is in it, she really just needs to pick something at this point and kind of follow through on it because she's getting really behind on stuff. Let's go Go ahead and send Amber to sleep as well. And then, whoops, let's make sure this little guy, we'll put him upstairs too, because he at the very least needs to go ahead and let's uh, put Aspen to bed. And then he probably won't want to go, but at least he will be where he's supposed to. All right, come on, come on. Did you just get yourself stuck, lady? Devin, Devin, come on. <gasps> Devin! How did you, you walked back there yourself. I was going to say, you walked back there yourself. You can get out of there. All right, let's have her pick up the toddler. Come along, little one. And then we'll have her go upstairs. Boom, put Aspen down here. I love how, like, every time I get, I'm just going to call him, like, Devin, Devin Fever. Uh, what do, you, what do you call it? Like, Devin Shopping Sprees? There we go. Whenever I get a Devin Shopping Spree, next thing you know, we've turned around and, like, completely changed up one little spot in the house like completely randomly like this here you have to at least stay in the room little guy you can play on your little my sim tablet that's fine why don't you go ahead and why don't you play bit block baby but you gotta you gotta stay in here and be a good little fella there we go but yeah whenever we go on devon shopping sprees it's just like if you look at this angle it's a perfect instagram picture and if you look at other angles it's pretty chaotic it's pretty chaotic, but everything we have put in this house, every upgrade we have done, everything that we have tweaked and put out in the front yard, every single plant has been the result of our hard work. And I have to say, I am really, really proud about that. 
So next time we come back, we will actually work on some of the cow plant bits and bobs of the cow plant challenge. We're really getting close to the end of it. I am beginning to resign myself to the fact that Fern's just going to have to like become um, really, really rich and buy the farm back. So we'll have to rescue the farm a second time because our spliced plants still have not borne any fruit. But hope springs eternal and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.